Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jimmy Lopez. Welcome to another episode of the new movie review. Uh, I just saw the movie Going in Style. And uh, before I get into that, I figured I'd show you guys a little magic trick first. But first, bear with me because what I'm trying to do is show you the distinction here, right? Because it's hard to pick up on the camera, alright? So I'm trying to do something to amaze you. Let's see if I can do it or not. These are my small cards here. It came out of this little small box, as you can see. The small card matches the other small cards. It came out of a little box like this. And as you can see, they match. But a card like this, which is much bigger than these right here, as you can see, much bigger card came out of this box right here, okay? So obviously, this is a small card, this is a big card. And the small one matches the ones that I kept here that came out of this small little box here, okay? So what I'm going to do is take this card right here, the small one, and it does have my initials on it, JL. And I'm going to put it somewhere in here, random. Let's go ahead and let it sit in here. But if you notice, my fingers are kind of thick. These cards are kind of small. So pay attention, okay? Once again, small cards, big cards, okay? Since my fingers are kind of thick, I think what I should do is take these small cards, knot it up my sleeves, ready? Take these small cards and bang! I'm gonna make them all bigger now. And as you can see, they match the big cards now. But if I go to the cards, as you can see, there's only one small card in the whole deck. It happens to have my initials on it. And as you can see, much smaller, and all the cards now are big. So, <laughs> for the wonders round of applause, would you like to know how to do it? Do you promise not to tell anybody? I promise not to tell anybody either. <laughs> All right, on with the review. Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, like I said, I hope you like that magic trick that I just did. Uh, I got some other cool stuff to show you in other videos. Um, I just came from seeing the movie Going in Style. And, uh, you know what, I gotta tell you. This could have been a train wreck of a movie, but... Morgan Freeman, Michael King, uh... Alan Arkin, uh, and Margaret, who's like, I think, 80 years old now, but freaking hot as hell still. Uh, Christopher Lloyd. Da! Marty! Yeah, that guy, you know, Doc Brown. Uh, Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon? Not Matt Damon. Matt Dillon. <laughs> I haven't really seen him in a, in a movie in a while, except maybe, uh, what was that movie? Oh, uh, Something About Mary, yeah. And uh, John Ortiz. Yes! We get one Latino in the whole movie, huh? How about that? Uh, John Ortiz, the last movie I just seen him uh, with Tony T, actually, uh, in the uh, movie A Dog's Purpose, which, uh, like I said, uh, Tony T was crying in that movie. But I got to admit, I cried in the last four minutes of that movie or something like that, right? But back to the movie going in style. Uh, synopsis, it's about three old guys. I think they're like late 60s, even 70s, maybe. Uh, and, you know, this is just a perfect example of stuff that's going on today. You know, a lot of the legality lingo that they use in banks and uh, just so they could take their house away from you if you miss a couple of payments. Uh, how jobs that you work at for like maybe 20, some people 30 years and that they want to take away your pension. Uh, stick it right to you, right? But either way, I won't rant on that too long. But uh, th these three guys decide that they're going to do something to get their pension one way or the other and of course that involves going to knock off a bank and from there the movie just is hilarious actually the movie is hilarious when it first starts uh john ortiz actually plays an important role yes john ortiz the one latino we get and the movie's got a little twist to it so make sure you stay till the very end there's a little twist in it but you know what guys morgan freeman uh alan arkin and michael kane very experienced actors i gotta admit this movie, like I said, could have been a train wreck, but man, talk about experienced actors. I mean, just the subtle comedy that they bring to this. It's just, how would you say it's wholesome? You know, there's no need to be swearing and doing all, all, all these things in the movie, and they just bring back, uh, you know, the way film used to be. A, I mean, of course, they're still doing films today, but what I'm saying is they just bring back a certain comedy. I mean, other actors who could have did this movie would have probably made the movie a train wreck. But, um... 
you also have, uh, Alan, like I said, Alan Arkin, and Alan Arkin is in a lot of movies. Uh, I mostly remember him for being in the movie The Jerky Boys, where he played the head mafia dude, and he tells him, Hey, don't tell me what I don't want to know. I tell you what I don't want to know. Now I want to know! <laughs> but yeah, um, I just really think that uh, it's, it's attention for detail. Um, when you reach a certain age, uh, there's just the way people treat you. It's... Uh, they don't suspect you. That's what, that's, I mean, I'm trying, I don't want to give away the movie here, but uh, that helps, yeah. But uh, you know what? On a different note with that, the movie makes me think of a song by Billy Joel. Um, the one that goes, Vienna waits for you. Um, Billy Joel wrote that movie about old people, and especially here in America, we really don't treat our elderly the way that we should. I mean, a lot of them end up in homes and stuff like that. And, I mean, some situations it's unavoidable. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's why he made that song, Vienna Waits For You. Because in Venice, Italy, uh, they treat their elderly much more respectable. And this movie shines a little bit of a light how here in America we really do need to treat our elderly better than what we do, you know. But, guys, go see this movie. It's got messages in it. Uh, once again, a little twist in it, and uh, I really thought it was enjoyable. I laughed a lot in this movie. Michael Caine's great, Morgan Freeman, all three of them are great. Um, it's a trio. They're, they're pretty much on three of them to the whole movie, and they're just great. It's a great combination. I can't even give this movie anything less than five stars. Five stars. That's my first one this year. Tony, if you're listening, first five stars this year. Can you believe it? <laughs> but yeah guys uh, that's all I wanted to say about this hope you like the magic trick uh, I will be doing more but uh, yeah going in style 5 stars treat the elderly better <laughs> later guys bye